we're bringing uh, Josh Russell to come visit our facility. It's all about him experiencing what happens on the ground in our facility as a partner to us. We are going to give him an experience of our operation here. Uh, from the start, of, uh, we receive uh, LNG, liquefied natural gas, until we deliver it to customer. So I'm here in Pengarang at the Petronas Regasification Terminal, getting a full uh, insight into how it comes from the, from the vessel, offloading into the terminal here. Right. Okay? Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is quite something. This is what we call the entry point. This the is entry the entry point, point of LNG. Yep. This process, we call it unloading. We unload the liquefied natural gas that I mentioned yeah, sure. uh, into the tank first. That's okay. the first step. So once we move this one, the arm will uh, move towards the vessel. Then this, this couple will go together like this yep. and we'll seal it. Yep. Then the start the unloading. Some unloading. From here, it will go to inside the tank. I believe how much uh, liquid gas you have here and how quick it yeah. transfers over there. 24 hours, fully transferred. This is the open rack vaporizer. Okay. We come over from the entry point. The liquid will come, will go into this tank. Okay. From this tank, the liquid will pump into here. This is the, 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 the center of regasification. This is where we convert uh, LNG yeah. liquid into gas form. The gas we flow into the main pipeline okay. straight away to the customer. So the seawater is quite a, an easy source to, to change it into the gas form. We don't consume any volume, no. we just extract the temperature only. After this, we're going to our innovation point. Innovation that's, that's, uh, Innovation. Okay. Let's go. We call it virtual pipeline system. Virtual pipeline uh, Because of uh, our customer in remote area, they need a lower carbon energy source. Sure. But they don't have access to the pipeline. No. But we have to send the liquid to them. By the trucks? Uh, by, by the truck. Okay. Sujov, welcome to the control room. Oh, wow. So here every day we uh, control the whole system. And this, this is the VR headset, I presume? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is the headset. So with this, we can make decisions faster than before. Yeah, absolutely. We can have uh, the support remotely. If in case we need support from Singapore, we can have it anytime, okay. anywhere. This room rem reminds me of the room we have in Brackley and in Brigsworth of uh, uh, the remote control centre that we have during the yeah. race weekends, obviously when it, wherever we are around the world. Especially in our sport, it's the people at the track who normally get the most uh, credit, but it, you can't do any of that without the, the thousands of people behind, the people working through the night back home in the UK to make this happen for us. That's about it, the tour of RGTP for today. Thank you so much. I think, uh, I hope you enjoy. I really did. Yeah. Very educational. I suppose the most important principle is technology, innovation is the forefront at everything we do in Petronas. And I think that same principle applies to Formula One. And that is the very reason I think this partnership has worked very well between Mercedes and Petronas. Petronas is a, an essential partner to our team and we're in this together so for me to come here to Malaysia to see what Petronas is all about, learn a lot more about the business, the innovation is really exciting for me, educational for me and I always enjoy coming here to, to Malaysia.